Hello, Mr. Lunt. Would you come and step in front of the microphone, team? Mr. Lunt, come forward a bit more, please. There will be fine. Step forward, closer to the microphone, please. Closer to the microphone, please. Firstly, uh, Ben would like to thank his friends, teammates, family, and in particular his wife Claire, for their unerring support throughout what has been a very difficult period for Ben. Today's verdict represents the end of an 11, 11 month ordeal for Ben, during which time he's had to maintain his silence at times when many on social media and certain parts of the press predetermined his guilt long before the trial began. On 25th September, Ben had been out with teammates celebrating an England win. Contrary to some reports, there was no curfew in place. Ben was minding his own business when he came across two men being subjected to what Ben identified as serious homophobic abuse. It was only when others came under threat that Ben became physically engaged with the men in question. The steps that he took were solely aimed at ensuring the safety of himself or the others present. In addition to the extreme stress placed on Ben and his family by the trial, his intervention that night has already cost Ben the England vice captaincy, his place on an Ashes tour and his place in a number of other England matches. The past 11 months have served to highlight to Ben just how highly he values his position as an England representative, both in terms of the privilege that role entails and the responsibilities that accompany it. Now that the trial is over, Ben is keen to get back to cricket being his sole focus. Thank you. Would you act the same way again, Mr. Stokes? Why did you shake the hand of Mr. Allen at the end, Mr. Stokes? Take the hand. Why did you shake Mr. Halley's hand, sir? 